I'm trying to get breakfast. Oh, fuck. Where are we going? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, shit. What is going on? We just got into this IHOP today. Oh, oh. Get out. I will fuck you up. Get out. I hate you again, dog. I hate you again. Oh. Wow, that that broom. Y'all need a sponsor. I don't know what broom that is. That shit is adorable. This is this is famous. This is by O C D R. O C D R. Y'all brooms are sturdy, man. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I know this is the wrong time. Table for three. Hey, we got some free entertainment for our food. Bro, he was whacking him with that broom. He got him with, bro, bro, that broom think, was durable. Bro, this is what I'm saying. He said he just came in saying, I guess you owed him $20 or something like that. What happened? I don't even know, y'all. My heart's been a million dollars I can protect you. Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> bro, I'm not going to lie. I know you heat it, but you were standing on business. <laughs> I'm Kenel Joseph, and welcome to Minutes Across America. This is a series where my team and I will travel to and prank all 50 states. We need a tour guide for each state, so follow me on Instagram because we're gonna need. I haven't been to sleep a couple nights, nights, and took countless cum shots to my face. And I need to stop. Yeah, I fine. need water. Greetings. <laughs> I'm Kevin Liver. I'm an aspiring director, and uh, as you guys can tell, I have an audition here for actors. We're gonna be doing the offensive audition prank, and basically we're gonna have real actors come out here and act out offensive scripts. Other than that, let's get into it. Yeah. How you doing? Hi. Kevin Liver. Hey. How you doing? Doing good. Okay, okay. How was the drive? It was, it was good. Okay. It got Kind of busy near the end. Yeah, that's just how traffic is. But I'm glad you came on time. Thank you. Because you know, you know what they say. Early is better. No, but uh, they say what? if you're on time, you're late. Yeah. So I got here early. Gotcha. Thank well, you. Hello, my name is Michael Hopfe. I have a lot of experience acting. I have a degree in music and theater from the University of Arizona. And then since 2022, I've been background acting, and I've been in many movies. And then I'm now at the stage where they're having me be lead actor. So this scene is in particular is the night before the interview. This is you and your friend are um, at the golf course. Okay. All right. This is Playboy scene four, take one. Boom, another eagle. Man, I'm on fire today. I just can't miss. Damn it, you got me again. Um, and, and saying I got, him. sorry. No, we can stop. I'm just, I you I was just, very confused. You're, you're, you, I thought you were saying, come on, come no, on. No, no, not, not you. No, I'm just saying, just scene four, take two. Boom. Okay. Boom. Uh, sorry. Tell me, I'm sorry, no. when do you want me to start? No, I'm gonna I'm I'm hit it and then I'm gonna walk off. So, it, so. When, once it. you walk off, yeah, I'll yeah. start. Another eagle. Man, I'm on fire today. Gonna have to treat the wife tonight after the interview. Interview? What show are you hopping on after this? Good Evening America with Tucker Morgan. I'd be careful around that guy if I were you. And saying I got my wealth in a sketchy way, so I just need to clear the air on some things. Don't let him intimidate you. He used to be an interrogator for the police force. I got this, John. Trust me. I am you, Robert. You won't catch me anywhere near that guy. He has a team of researchers who dig real deep on their guests. If I went on, it'll definitely expose me for the fear I have with my secretary. I like that. You're raising the bar. I, I want like you that. to know something. I can put a lot more into it. I, for like, this next one, I want you to put a lot. So we're gonna change scenes. We're gonna sit down. This is the interview part. I'm gonna read this part. The actor did not show up, so I'll just read that. But we still need that effort on your end. I'm very happy not holding back. Of course, I do better the second time than the first time. Of course, that's why we're doing so many takes. Okay. So before we start, yeah. this scene is more of the, the after the golf course. This is the next day for the major interview. This is live, and this is America watching. So in other words, I'm on TV or a talk show. Yes. Playboy, scene five, take one. Good evening, America. As you can see, we finally have Robert Sterling, entrepreneur, wealthy businessman, here to speak on some of the occupations that have been looming around related to how he really obtained his wealth. I'm glad that I was given the opportunity to come on the show. Correct me if I'm wrong, 
But you made fortune off of taking over and continued Playboy. Yes, Tucker, that is correct. You've chosen a company surrounded in the sexualization of women. Is that compensating for anything? If you're over here trying to paint me um, as a... Uh, Miss Go Miss Ogymnus. Miss Ogymnus. You're fine. Uh, you're fine. Massage, massage. Let's do take two. Let's take two. If you're over here trying to paint me as a misogynist. Oh, no, sir. Forgive me if I've offended you. With Mr. Hefner still alive, how did you manage to convince him to basically hand you over his life work? I've known Hugh for years, and he trusted me that I was the perfect fit for him. I bet it did fit perfect. All right, man. I let the first jab at me slip. But you're obviously after something here. So would you like to get it off your chest? I should ask you the same question, Mr. Sterling. Did you get it off your chest? I bet it was sticky. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but I bet you do. What the fuck are you doing? Trying to get the truth <laughs> of you in front of America, of course. You aren't getting anything out of me. That's okay, because we have everything right here in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a clip sent to us from Hugh Hefner himself in the love room with Mr. Stone, take a look. No, don't play that clip. I'll come clean, just don't show the footage. Okay, I'll ask you once again, how did you attain your position in power? I sucked and fucked you. What did I do? Hovered for my job. For weeks and weeks I endured that pain until it became um, pleasure and took countless cum shots to my face for the millions upon millions I have today. Doggy. I need to stop. Yeah, you're I fine. need water. You're, you sorry. need water? I'm gonna go do some more. I'll be right back. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. I know it's a lot. Yeah. You good? We can I'm, start from the I'm start okay from the beginning. Yeah. I'm just um because I'm acting. This is it's just I I need water. Is it a little hot in here? Do we need to change the? Nothing's wrong with the word. Okay. No, no. I'm saying the the temperature. Oh no, temperature. Okay. Everything's okay. fine. So I know I the suit is a little hot. So I just noticed my. Um, the throat was getting dry, so I just need water. Okay. Thank you. Don't think you did wrong, it's just I know. I, I yeah. couldn't talk, kind of was hard speaking. Scene five, take four. I sucked and fucked Hugh Hefner for my job. For weeks and weeks I endured that pain until it became pleasure and took countless cum shots to my face for the millions upon millions I have today. Doggy, um, misogynary. A 69 reverse cowboy down, downward dog, upside down from the side. He fucked me in every position out there. He fucked me so hard, I was on chutters. Wow, I was on crutches. I was getting my ass destroyed. Stick it in and pull it out. Stick it in and pull it out. Stick it in and pull it out. That's the only thing that came out of his mouth while he was passionately <laughs> demonstrated the fuck out of me. There's a uh, there. Are you happy? You hear that, America? Hugh Hubner fucked me so I could be CEO. And guess what? I'll do it again. I'll do it right fucking now to stay on top. Death row, last meal. I want that fucking cock. I bet it felt good. I bet it felt even better to get it off your chest. It did. It really did. I haven't felt that a lot in years. That's all the time we have today, folks. <laughs> Next episode, we'll continue to expose sickos, <laughs> twisted individuals who homosexually slept their way to the top. <laughs> see. Okay, was that okay? That was good. That scene right there was so intense. I bet you felt that. Oh, yeah. And I can just tell it penetrated you to the way it, you, the emotions came out. Like yeah. it just came. And I'm it, not Michael when I'm doing this. Yeah, exactly. You're Robert not Michael. Sterling. You're I'm a homosexual not. Robert Sterling. I sure am. Get your hands away from me. Sorry, Robert Sterling. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm glad you stayed in character. That was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Make sure he gets his payment. Yeah. I appreciate you for coming last minute for this uh, audition because you know we well, were I'm a little. I'm very bad. happy I did. Yours, right? So you don't forget it. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I'm not going. To I was about to say. We need to give him more money. Give him two fifty. He 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 obliterated that role. Just like Hugh obliterated his asshole. The emotions definitely came out. Yeah. Came. For sure. You you did amazing. You did 
phenomenal. We're giving you extra money for that role. Hopefully you get more roles. Um, you did fucking amazing Robert Sterling. All right, so we're currently in Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky's known for their fried chicken and things like that. So surprisingly, I know. I've actually never tried KFC before. So I thought it would have been funny to try it, but why not throw like a last minute meet and greet? Like I put a flyer out on Instagram. Hopefully uh, KFC is really good because I only tried uh, Popeyes and churches and all the other places like that. Hello? Oh. oh. I expected that to be that loud. I believe this actually like works really well. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. 2540K. It was what? 2540K. Oh, okay. Bro, I'm dead ass. It'll be so funny if like only one person shows up. What the fuck? Yo! What the fuck? Oh shit! Yo, Thank you, Santa. Yo, Santa, 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 I got something for you. I got something for you. I got y'all all merch. Damn, I should've got PJs for y'all! Whoa! Rick Dunn! Whoa! It's on his back, son. Oh, get it out the Oh, hell no! Hey, so I'm underage! <laughs> I'm underage! <laughs> if you had to rate me 1 through 10, what would you rate me? Do How are you? Know? I'm 23. Uh, uh, I'd say 8.5? <laughs> you like my voice? Are you a dude? It turn you on? Is <laughs> <laughs> she a dude? You want to see these balls in a thong? No, no. It should do. No. Oh, okay. And this kind of chicken does look kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. What's your thoughts? This ain't finger licking good. No. This is kind of disappointing. And you fucking this up. But why are you making love to the chicken though, bro? Let's go, Let's go. I don't know, bro. All of them in Walmart, bro. There's that nigger. What? Whoa! Wait, no, wait, wait. All right, y'all ready? Yes. Oh. Guys, please, because you guys were here yesterday. Huh? I just got here today. Who the fuck? Who the fuck ruined it yesterday? Who the fuck ruined it yesterday? Damn, hella security. I hear cops, bro. Oh, bro! Hey, end of the meetup. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Fuck that. Hey, split. Do I like it? Like it? Wait, where are y'all going? Where are y'all going? Go leave. Hey, I got a warrant. I got a warrant. I y'all gotta go. Oh my God, bro. They're looking for me. I didn't do anything. Oh my God. How you doing? Hey, what's up? How much? Purcell. Joseph. Well, what's going on? Why is everybody, all these kids running around acting a fool? Because they wanted to see him, so they showed up. Who yeah. is he? I'm just, uh, I'm a porn star. You're a porn star? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the kids are too much on the internet nowadays. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. So, I was just here because they thought, I don't know what the hell they thought was going on. Yeah, yeah, they, they were, were just, it was just a bad All right, so we're good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right I see y'all, bro. Y'all stay up, man. You gonna see me up there with you one day. I got bro. you, bro. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. You got Instagram, mom? I do. What is it? Yes, this is really my life. What's the Instagram, mom? <laughs> yes, this is really my life. Oh, that is really it. He's single, by the way. She is too. Yeah. Here, 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 take mine. Take mine. It's, it's J-A-Y-Y-D-F-I-T. All right, All right, it's me. <laughs> I'm gonna see you when I come back. <laughs> hey, mom was bad, boy. <laughs> While we was in KFC, I was dead ass thinking like, boy, she look good, boy. <laughs> but then look, I was like, she probably got a husband. I've been going up now.